that was tough. That was tough. Um, I don't know that any artist has ever touched my soul like Greg. And what was it about Greg, you think, that resonated? It was his music. It was just him. He radiated on stage. I took Sierra to her first concert with Greg right down here in Macon. And his soul's going to shine forever, that's for sure. He's, he's a legend, and um, it's, 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 it's sad to see as we lose them, you know, um, the impact that he had on our town. And uh, it's, it's nice for folks to turn out to, today to show their respects. Of course, he was supposed to be playing right behind you at the Goodbye House tonight. I know, yeah, I know what an what irony that is. He came back for 40 years, and every time was a sellout. Yeah, he's, he was so popular here. Yeah, they put Macon on the map with Otis Redding and Lil Richard. And what did Greg Allman mean to you? A lifetime of music. Um, just part of our soul and our spirit. And um, I don't think I could have lived without his music. It's been uh, part of every, every year of my life. Uh, adult life, I guess. What was your favorite Allman Brothers song? Hmm. <laughs> Melissa. For sure. I think I liked it because Dwayne liked it. Greg Allman, to me, the greatest blues rock singer that ever lived. And this day, it's a sad day, but we celebrate the life of Greg Allman today in the ABB family. These people that you see on the streets, the people at the big house, the fans all over the world, we're all one big family that was brought together by the music of the Allman Brothers. And we call ourselves the ABB family. And uh, the music and the, the fans, it's just like nothing else in the world. And we just, uh, sad day, but at the same time, the music lives on.